What's up guys? Welcome to another amazing episode of the Kiss Capades podcast. I have a very special, special guest with me today. And I'll let her introduce herself before we start the podcast. So tell the people your name and what you do. Hi guys, uh, my name is Grace Kizera. I'm a student at Queer. I work for MM Gitonga Advocates. It's a law firm in Upper Hill. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's basically. So you're a lawyer, basically, oh, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm Randy, mm-hmm. and I've uh, been in Kenya since 2016. So that's uh, three years. Yeah, mm-hmm. my Kiswahili is still terrible, though. You can speak Swahili. Uh, Kidogo. Kidogo too. <laughs> 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 yeah. You sound like a tourist. To no, me. don't say that. <laughs> yeah, you know, where the catch is always is when you're trying to buy something. Yeah. And then people realize, like, eh? You no, don't I, know actually, I actually know Kiswahili for buying things. In oh, you can buy it? Eh? I can buy things. I can negotiate. Okay, then that's a good, that's a nice way to start. And even that's a nice way of starting to learn Swahili. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's where you'll be interacting with people on a regular basis. Yeah. yeah. So, um,. I don't even know where to start, but you know why I invited you to the podcast, right? Yes. <laughs> why, yes. why is that? Uh, I wrote a story and the uh, Cotex hashtag of um, Shiken. Uh, it was uh, a movement going on to encourage young girls to mm. move out of their comfort zones. And we were encouraged to write stories of the things we overcame. Mm-hmm. so that we encourage a young girl out there that's still struggling with something mm-hmm. so yeah that's why yeah I'm so here. i just saw your caption like on instagram yeah you know, we've been following each other on instagram for um a few months yeah a few months a, a few, few months. months yeah a few months and surprisingly somebody has just been watching me <laughs> shooting my podcast <laughs> passing next to where i shoot every single day guilty <laughs> and not for one day could they just come and say like you know what's up i like what you do i listen to your podcast so why didn't you ever think of just coming to say hi and i mean it backfires sometimes because you don't know how it's going to be i've seen i've seen a few people trying to approach people they know on social media and it goes wrong somebody just says Am I supposed to know you? <laughs> but do I give off that energy? No, you don't give off that energy, but yeah. it, it just have to be on the safe side, you know? <laughs> I just Better safe than sorry. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> imagine me, I'm so used to being rejected that it doesn't even, like I don't even feel anything, imagine. Uh, I'll just it, be like, ah, maybe for that moment and then once I walk away, like I already forget about it. Well, I, I didn't want to put myself through that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now... Yeah. Uh, before we go into like just detail of the caption that made me actually invite you to the podcast, uh, when you moved to Kenya, yeah. was it uh, because you wanted just like a new environment or pursuing education or getting married? <laughs> that has to come. <laughs> yeah. But what was the main reason for you to come to my, Kenya? My main reason to come to Kenya was... Um, both it was education and yeah. it was also a new environment i really didn't want to study uh, in the same environment and i wanted to to be regional sometimes it's good to be out there <coughs> and be regional so that you can experience different experiences from different places so yeah it was it was education and new environment as well mm. yeah and how has the adjustment been for you because, you know, there are people who have good experiences when they're coming to Kenya. Yeah. Some not so good, but how was your experience just moving to Kenya? A few culture shocks. Like what? Like in terms of foods, we're quite different. Really? Not so different because we're all Africans. But mm. like uh, chapati, Yeah. for you guys, it's a meal. And for us, it's a snack. What do you mean? <laughs> chapati is a snack in Rwanda? Yeah, it's a snack. What like do you mean by people that? People can take it for breakfast, um, oh, but tea. Not, mm-hmm. um, a few homes actually know how to make it. It's, it's, it's so common in the Muslim 
environment yeah. more mm. than the other environment. So coming here and figuring out that it's a special meal that you find at mm. events, I was like, yeah, yeah. wow, it's an actual meal. <laughs> in, by in, the way. in Rwanda, it, it, it's it's but you know, what do you guys eat? What snake. do you guys eat in Rwanda? Um, I haven't been to Rwanda. Oh, you haven't. You should. Mm-mm. You should visit. I have a million reasons to visit Rwanda. Yes, <laughs> uh, we eat potatoes, mm-hmm. rice, uh, cassava leaves, uh-huh. and cassava ugali. What? Yeah, it's almost. Is like it good? It's, it's almost like the Nigerian compared to. Fufu. Is it the soft? The is it soft, softer? The soft one, yeah. I know. Now that's not ugali. That's ugali. Especially for me, I come from Western. Yeah. If it's ugali, it has to be like you have to press it until your hand starts shaking a bit <laughs> it has to be it has to be equally as strong as it's, you <laughs> it's ugali and it's it's really filling you can really feel. yeah yeah okay i would like to try that it's cassava leaves Wait. cassava leaves but mm-hmm. cassava leaves can be eaten with beef stew i mean cassava leaves is like a you, you cook it with beef how is that made is it flour and no cassava leaves they the, the leaves for cassava they are the, dried the, sometimes they're dried and packed sometimes yeah. they're fresh okay yeah so you cook them with beef and yeah. peanuts okay it's amazing it's okay. amazing yeah, that and sounds yeah tasty you can eat it with anything okay i should help you try it then you can go to rwanda after yes <laughs> i'll eat that with chapati oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. yeah so apart from food what else was just different you know? um i think it's a busy city mm. compared to Rwanda. Too many people, especially in town. Yeah. Um, too many buildings. I get lost all the time. <laughs> Till now. Really? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and everyone is running to do something. Yeah. They're running to go somewhere. They're running to do something. Mm. They're go-getters. And I think the difference is our, our city is a bit calm. Uh, a bit organized. <laughs> yeah, that I've had. Clean, no fence, clean, uh, clean. Yeah, a bit clean. Yes, no very fence. clean. <laughs> no, I've had it very clean. Yeah, so I think those are the things that were a shock to me because I'm thinking you're more developed. Mm. You should be a bit yeah. organized. So no. I'm just like. Mm. That's not happening for us anytime soon. <laughs> I, I hope don't it think does. so. I hope Mm-mm. it does. <laughs> Yeah. It's just in us. It's just a cult. It's not cultural, but it's just like you might be organized, but the next person might not be. So it just affects everything. Yeah, I else. think those are things that come with development, where everyone is just aware of themselves. Yeah. They're not aware of anything else going around them. True. Like um, in terms of um, like in Rwanda, people give lifts. You can't just stand for so long on the street. Wait, what? Yeah. So if you're just on the road you're just chilling someone, and you someone stops and says where are you heading to and they won't kidnap you no, let's start with n- that they won't kidnap you they won't do anything to okay, you okay let me let me ask you a question happen. yeah if you're standing on a kenyan street and somebody stops and offers you a lift will I, you get I, in the car no i won't get in the car because oh. <laughs> i'm aware of where i am <laughs> because i'm aware of where i am i won't get in the car but, well well but answered yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah like that's that's one of the things that also threw me off because the days when it's raining yeah. and you really need a ride and people just drive and drive and I'm just yeah. like you mi- that's when you miss home eh? I'm yeah. like I need to go home <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so yeah. I mean that's interesting to just know like how people like that, the, the fast yeah. adjustment to the country and you know moving now to Kato Uni, right? Yeah. How was the edu- cuz you you're doing you have a, have you finished? No, I'm in my last Your year. Your last year, right? Yeah, so this is my last semester. Now how's that process of learning? Just coming from Rwanda and uh, a whole different education system yeah. and students, I guess. Yeah, uh, the the education system is different. That's that's, that's for sure. It's mm-hmm. different. And I needed to put in a lot of effort to um, to catch up with the system mm. but it wasn't that challenging considering that we've also joined East Africa so some things are getting to to be similar a bit so it wasn't so difficult but I also needed to focus so that I adapt to how the education runs mm. yeah but it's been a great one so far um, exhausting <laughs> yeah but we're I almost hear law done. is crazy yeah yeah law is not a joke but 
Yeah. So are you planning to practice it here, Rwanda? I would really love to practice regionally, like in the East African courts. Mm. Mm. But of course, I have to start somewhere. So most probably I'll start here and then as I grow. Yeah. yeah. And you know k about Kenya School of Law, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Why, why, I'm why ready. aren't you happy anything? I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I think that's always like the the last hurdle and then after that now you're then everything you're good, to, good go, to go, right? To go, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, now let's go to like um the the Instagram post. Because yes. like even for me I do reach out to a lot of people when I see like a post that has like a a deeper meaning, you know. Because nowadays at times you just scroll and it's just like some aimless, like, you know, a lot of maybe pictures. Of course they're nice, but you don't get like a caption that might. Especially if somebody says like, um, what do they say before they do the post? Long post a lot. They're like, oh, okay, this must be interesting. So <laughs> yeah. let me just go through it. I read it. Yeah. There was quite a lot. And then there was also like the two hashtags. Um, I said there was one. The hashtags There's were. She can. Uh, she can or. Yes. I have and them somewhere down on my phone. Period or not, she can. Period or not, she can. Yeah. She can. An ed an. She can an. Edition. Yeah, uni edition. Oh, she University can. University edition. She, she can uni edition. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, at least I do my research a bit. <laughs> so I didn't know what they exactly meant yeah but let's go to your post your post said um, do you want to break it down like in summary do we talk about like just the post in general you e can say what it is first yeah. of all um, so the Shiken Uni edition like I said before was um, a movement to encourage girls or women um, it was uh, organized by Cotex so we in were Nairobi? in Nairobi yes mm -hmm. It was happening at Queer, and Queer students were encouraged to write stories of something you're most proud of, something you have overcome, something you, you, f you fought, and you're proud to be where you are. So, so that you can encourage someone else, a young girl out there, going through something. So for me, uh, it was about um, identity. I struggled with identity, uh, not because I really didn't know who I was, really, but because along the way, you know, when you're a teenager and you're growing, it's it's a it's a you're in a space of knowing to know who you are. You're in a space to establish what you want to be, who you want to be. Your personality really is actually growing in that space. So I was in that space when things started taking another turn. Now I started. Some people started calling me different names. Um, some people were unsure. This is in. Are you talking about this being I'm, in Kenya I'm, or back no, at home? No, back at home. Back okay. at home in my high school. Okay. Um, some people are saying, "Oh, like I was torn into two groups, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. both groups did not want me, so I belonged nowhere." Um, Maybe you belonged in Kenya. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I belonged nowhere. One group was like, nah, I don't, she's not ours. The other group is like, nah, maybe, maybe not. Mm. So they, they're kind of throwing you in between until you start questioning, wait a minute, who am I? Mm -hmm. You know, when it gets to a point where you question who you are, it's bad. Yeah, because now it's, I mean, it's, it's it just bad. has no meaning at all. Like, yeah. wh what am I supposed to do next? Yeah, and for a young girl, identity is very important. Mm. Who you are is very important because that's where your confidence comes from. You identify with something so that you can be something. Mm. So in that moment where I was supposed to know who I am in a happy, loving environment, I did not get that until I actually started questioning my parents do you guys even know who I am? Because this is what is happening. You asked them? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I asked them and they were shocked. <laughs> they were shocked. They didn't know you were going through that. <laughs> they so didn't know I was going through yeah. that. And I was actually sent to my grandmother mm -hmm. <laughs> to go find out. <laughs> <laughs> she has all the answers of <laughs> what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. To go find out. And then when I was still told, I was still left with questions. Well, so if my grandmother says I'm X, how come mm -hmm. X 
people do not want me? Mm -hmm. And how come why people still don't want me? So where do I stand? Mm -hmm. So I struggled with that, but I think I'll give credit to one girl in my high school. Okay. She was called Sherita. She is called Sherita. Mm. <laughs> she she called me and told me, look, <coughs> don't run away. I was trying to run away. And she from? said, from everything. I was like, I need to run away from the school first of all. And was school that bad? It was bad. Was it boarding or day school? It was boarding. Oh lord, it that's the worst. That, that can be that, the worst. That, right? that can be the worst. And you know, uh, kids or uh, let me say teenagers, when they decide to do something, they can go. They can go overboard. Yeah. It, it was bad where you sit on a table and people leave. Ah, come on. It, it was bad where you use something and nobody else can use it. Okay, now that's crazy. It was bad. Yeah. So um, she told me, look, stand firm and love them until they realize they were wrong. Mm -hmm. ah, I was like, you're crazy. Yeah, how am I supposed to do that? How can I do that? She's like, if you go and run away from them, you won't be different from them. Mm -hmm. You give them the space to do more, mm -hmm. but prove them wrong. Mm -hmm. that identity doesn't matter you are a good person you are a nice person show them that and thanks to her I didn't leave the school I stayed and eventually like in our last year things were better because now that's when people get to know who you are exactly and then they start saying she's a nice person but oh lord you yeah, know but there's a but there's a but she's a nice person but that doesn't change that she's you get she's a nice person but that doesn't yeah maybe her, maybe one of the parents is x and the other parent is y maybe she's mixed maybe we can mm -hmm. you know where somebody is trying to accommodate you we can't mm. say what this initial stand for can we no we cannot okay <laughs> now i'm just saying you know i have asked that yeah because somebody on the podcast listen maybe why is she saying x and y, y. <laughs> yeah but, but we're just saying like you know we also have to look out for her man Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's a very sensitive uh, it, it subject. It is, yeah, yeah, it's a very yeah, sensitive but subject. Yeah, it, but it, it's, it's general identity applies to everyone. Yeah. It applies to everyone, yeah. it applies to Kenya, it mm. applies to mm -hmm. any any country out there that has... South Africa. Uh, South Africa, it mm -hmm. applies to every other country that has um, differences. But I think we should find beauty in differences other than finding something against the other person. Mm -hmm. You understand, and and True. in a generation of young people who actually do not know where these things are coming from, they tend to be confused. Yeah, they tend to be confused, and that's how they end up saying, "Maybe you are this, maybe you're that, maybe you're yeah. this," but I still don't feel like I should associate with you. Yeah, it's it's kind of tricky because, like, even me, I can say, like, even in Kenya, you know, I've always grown up moving around different places of the country. Yeah. And I was never even aware of tribes until I grew up. Yeah. That's when you're like, people are dividing themselves because of this, this, and this, and this, and this. But yeah. I still, like, on a regular basis, I still don't see tribe because I, my friends, how I interact with people, how I live with people, how I date people, yeah. is so diverse that, like, my head is so confused because when I go somewhere else where people, like, are just narrowed and focused on, like, if this person is not from our tribe, I cannot. Yeah. If this person is not from our... I mean, I can't even relate to it. Yeah. But so. the beauty, I think, in Kenya is that yeah. uh, you have actually tribes. You do yeah. have tribes. Mm -hmm. And you do have different cultures. Mm -hmm. You do have different languages. Mm -hmm. You do have something to differentiate you from somebody else. It's a good and a bad thing as well. Yeah. You know that, right? Yes, I know. But the, the funny thing is we don't. That's why it doesn't mm. matter for us because mm. we don't. We have the same language, we have the same culture, we have the same taboos, we believe and disbelieve in everything. So, so even the division makes the division no sense at all. The doesn't make sense at all. Mm. It, is, it shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be there at all. So that's why it's kind of tricky when somebody's confused in between you're this, you're that, yeah. mm -hmm. simply because of physics that actually shouldn't be distinguish you from someone culture mm. should separate you from somebody mm -hmm. your beliefs and principles should separate you from somebody not how you look true yeah true. <laughs> but, 
but it does, I guess. I'm still opening. Oh my God, why would somebody be calling me right now? Okay, now just continue <laughs> with what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, so uh-huh. basically that's, that's what happened. And what it did to me is that it threw me in a box of hating myself. Uh-huh. Because at some point I questioned God. I was like, so is this why you created me? For me to be out here thrown sideways? Like, is that yeah. what I should be doing or, or how I should be living my life? Uh, it's not like I'm living a normal tragedy of being poor or <laughs> I'm just living. You haven't done anything wrong to deserve. Yes, I have. I've, I've not done anything to deserve what is going on. So. Mm-hmm. It got to a point where I looked myself in the mirror and all I could see was negative things. All that could come out of my mind was, you're not pretty, you're not worth it, you're not supposed to be with them. You are very pretty, first of all, you know that, Thank right? Thank you very much, I know and, that and now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like you just start questioning everything yeah, about... Yeah, you start questioning and the only thing that you can look at in the mirror is that this girl needs to hide. Mm. It, it, you lose your confidence when you're supposed to say something in public. You're like, will they hear? Mm. Will they listen? Or all they will see is, she's that. Yeah. It got to a point where someone, you know, accidentally did something, and I just assumed why they did that. So you you par- paranoid to a point where you're just like, yeah, okay, yeah. You maybe look at me too long, and I'm like, she's trying to figure out what I am. Ah. Uh. That's bad, though. Yeah, it got to a point where I lost myself completely. Mm-hmm. And I joined university with the same um, idea. Here? Here, when I joined here. I joined university in the same way of hiding. Mm. Even to the point where a Kenyan who actually doesn't know anything mm. about Rwanda asked yeah. me, so are you B or C? I'll be like, oh, come on, come on. Can you just know I'm Randiz? I mean, period, I'm Randiz. Yeah, yeah. We have to go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I ran away from the subject. I ran away from everything. And when when somebody just be like, I know who you are. You look like this. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, I didn't even know you were Randiz until yesterday. You know that, right? Yeah. and the, right? I, Yesterday or the day before yesterday. It actually got to a point where we would go somewhere. Mm-hmm. When someone says she's Randiz, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not Randiz. I'm Kenyan. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, so, co- that, so that questions so don't that the start. questions don't come up. Oh, so that yeah. things don't fall up. Because they, 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 when they come up, they just remind me of the terrible things that happened. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but eventually, I realized I'm not going to live like this forever. Yeah. I'm not. Go- it's me who is suffering, not whoever called me what they called me. They called me what they called me, and they moved on, and they're actually doing so well in their lives. I'm here holding on so much to something that I should actually move past and build my life so I decided like look you know what Randy's or not Randy's X or not X I'm beautiful I'm smart I'm capable and I can do anything I want to do without thinking that like I shouldn't be able to I shouldn't be able to do something because I have a certain identity Mm -hmm. I should be able to do something because I can do it not because I come from Rwanda not because I come from Kenya not because I come from south or west true so it was a process. I can't say that I just snapped one day and it happened. Mm-hmm. It was a process of loving myself over and over again. It was a process of involving myself in things that boost my confidence. Mm-hmm. Like I started doing competitions in school. And when they went well, I'd be like... Which ones? Girl, you can do it. I did the old Kenya Moot. What's that? Uh, it's a, Do you know what Moot competition is though? It's mm-hmm. like a court setup where students are given like a case and then you come up with arguments on both sides oh okay okay, okay. yeah it's a way of it's a low thing right it's a, <laughs> it's yeah. a i mean thing. i wouldn't know those are not the, those are not it, the same it's a low the, thing. you're talking to the kids mind the those are not the same <laughs> games i play during my free in time in the simplest terms you're learning the court system oh yeah yeah you're but through games system. so you have a team a team, a, team b, b and, and then you go against each other so it's a court system they're teaching you how you talk the language and all that stuff mm, mm. so i participated in one and uh, I came forth mm, mm-hmm. in Kenya, and I was yeah. like, "This is good, girl. You yeah. can do it. <laughs> yeah. Stop letting identity issues and all these things throw you down to the point that you mm. can't even know how far you can go in life." 
So slowly, slowly I involved myself. I joined the counseling team in school. I did a training and then eventually I became a peer counselor and talking to other people going through things, trying to help them kind of told me, look, there are actually more problems out there. Yeah. <laughs> Work on this and yeah. move on, mm. you know? And doing community service, we did a community service at Kuwinda Slam. We bought the books and all that stuff. Such things help oh, you. Oh, I think I saw that on your yeah. Instagram like yes. a few Most months ago. Oh, uh, what was this year? It was last year. Last year? Beginning or is it in your Insta stories? It's on my Insta stories. Yeah, I think I yeah, saw that. So Slowly by slowly, I started building myself by helping other people mm. and involving myself so that I realized it's more than identity. It's more than who you are, but it's what you do mm. that actually will build your identity. Who are you as a person? What are you doing to the community? Don't rely on, I am black, I am blue. Like, it doesn't really make sense. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's how it was, a, it was a process. And today I can say that whether somebody calls me short fat anything you're not that short are you are you concerned about your height because you've, me you've mentioned it a couple of times <laughs> right <laughs> you mentioned but it a I couple of times <laughs> <laughs> you are is, like in kenya is, i think yeah. it's like a, a normal size for a lot of women are your height i'm yeah. guessing even from your school yeah. not unless i'm mistaken uh, uh, do you wish you were taller sometimes Sometimes, but it doesn't in matter. what scenario? Okay, I would want to know maybe because you want to do a runway, be a runway no, model. No, I don't want to do any or, of that. Or there's some stuff you can't reach on the cardboard. I yeah, want to there's understand. Some things that I can't reach <laughs> <laughs> in that sense. <laughs> I don't want to climb tables to get to some place. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's just like me saying, you know, I'd want to be like my Michael Jordan's height. Yes, I would, but. I wouldn't let that affect exactly, you know like how me because exactly. even for I have to actually see like the best things about myself. Exactly, exactly. So th it was a process of me loving myself and telling mm -hmm. myself, look, it doesn't matter. And I started actually looking at it in this sense: they're kids. Yeah. They're kids. They don't know what they're doing. They actually don't mean harm because now, if you look at us, we talk. We talk and we don't let that come in between. Mm -hmm. Like I can't say there's anybody in my high school that I have a grudge or that we don't talk to. There's nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what even helps you even more when you look at it in a sense that there were kids. Yes, they were wrong, but they were kids. And who do you blame? You say it, and I quote that you used to cry yourself to sleep. Yes, I used to cry to my sleep every almost every night, almost every night. I can't be in that school. I can't. Well, I, I was running away, to be honest. I was going to leave the school and my mother had agreed. But then when Sherissa told me running oh, away just, is yeah, not the solution. It's still not the answer. What if you go to another school oh, and it's the same It's the same thing, yeah. Yeah, are you going to run away again? Just stick around and prove them wrong. Yeah. Yeah, so I think sometimes facing our situations and maybe looking at the positive way to deal with a situation is what will help you heal more than finding solutions in hiding and all that true so yeah but something else that you know made me raise my eyebrow yeah when i was reading the caption yeah. you know there's so much that you haven't said really? that was in that caption I feel like yeah i've said everything you said if somebody asked you yeah what the future is like said i would be dead yes and then now i was like okay now now we need to talk <laughs> <laughs> now we need to talk, eh? <laughs> now we need. To, it's like absolute nonsense. If I if I know you, I have to call you <laughs> and have a talk with you. Yeah, you know, I think um, when <clears throat> when you're going through something like that, mm -hmm. where as a as a child, like for example, as a as a teenager, where you're dealing with so much, that's why we have like so many kids killing themselves. True. As a as a kid in that stage, you really need a very warm environment to survive because there's so much that matters to us, to that child, more than that it would matter for you right now. Yeah. So that when things are not going like that, so you see, you're, you're having adolescence, you're fighting with your parents because they don't want you to have ABC. Mm. Then you go to school where you should be happy with the being with friends being, with and friends, being just a teenager a teenager enjoying yeah. your life 
they don't like you. Mm, mm. They don't want you. Both sides, both angles. Like I remember when I first joined the first group where I the first group I joined, we were friends for like two weeks until I think they started thinking we don't think she's X. Mm. And then all of a sudden I come to the table, they leave. All they of a just sudden, wake up and leave. Yes, all of a sudden I come to the table. That's I insane. use something nobody else uses it. Yeah. And then I was like, did I say something? Mm. Did I do something? When I inquired, when they told me, I was like, am I though? Mm. Am I X? <laughs> am I Y? Mm. I didn't even know. Mm-hmm. I moved to another table. Two days along the line, the same thing happened. And then I was like, okay. So do I move to another table? Do so are I you sitting alone? Do I sit alone? What am I going to do? That's when the Sharissa girl came in. Oh, yeah. And she said, I will sit with you and I will not allow you to run away. I will not let you go. And as she stayed with me, another one joined, another one joined. And before I knew it, I had a few friends who understood. And by the time we were finishing high school, but I can't say that it was perfect. But, but it was at least like I had yeah. a small group yeah. that I can rely on mm. and when the other group shoots, I'm good. As mm. long as where I am they're not shooting. At you least understand? you have friends around. At least you, you have friends. It's yeah. not the same as when you're alone. So at that point I didn't really see the future. Mm-hmm. I didn't really see tomorrow. And it crossed my mind. It crossed my mind to just quit. And just be like, you know what? Quit. Quit what? Quit living. That's not the answer, though. You know it's, that, it's right? It's never the answer. Honestly, I can tell everybody. But I, there, but I know, like, if answer. it gets to that point where but you feel like it has yeah. to be really, really bad. Yeah, and you know, as a young person, of course. As but were you looking at course. it? Um, okay, just finish before. I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> no, it's okay. What, what are you going to no, say? No, you first. I, I'm saying, as a young person, it's easy. It's easy to find a solution in something like that. That's why I feel like young people sh- we should be closer to them more mm. than just assume they're okay because I'm sure if I had not maybe pushed my mother to ask what am I should have never known what I'm going through in school mm. not because we don't have a relationship but maybe because you might think this is so petty to tell Wait, my but mom. you never had that discussion to tell her like in I school d- they treat I me I did that's why she agreed I changed school oh okay yeah, yeah and yeah. then eventually she I, I told her mom I've decided to stay I think I'll face it she's like are you sure and then I said yeah are there other students who go through the same yes in yes there are so many students who go through the same there's so many people who go through the same um, and it, it it's worse when it's both sides hmm. So I can't say that any side is better, but it's better when it's only one side that is pushing and there's another side will come in you. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not that I justify that. I don't think that's right either. But it's worse when it's both angles yeah. that are pushing you in between. You belong nowhere. That's what gets worse when you belong nowhere. Because now you're like, okay, if I'm not B and I'm not C, what am I? And why am I nobody? You know, and why am I nobody, and what did I do to deserve this, and you know. Was this a mixed, mixed school, or? Yes, it was a mixed school. It was so a mixed do you school, get, and it mm-hmm. gets worse, because with the guys, they're open about it. Yeah, that's they, what they I wanted to ask. They scream about it. Uh, they they oh just say, like, ugh, look at that one. You know oh, how, come on, you what? You know how guys are? No, no I do not. That's what yes. I was saying. Listen, <laughs> no, I know. Yes, you do know no. how guys are. Guys are open. Some guys don't care, for sure. Some guys don't care, but like the guys who really did care, they would say it openly, and it's something you would hear. Because for me, I'm thinking like that treatment maybe you'd get more from girls and not guys. I, I got more from girls, that's for sure. For sure, right? Yes, I got mm-hmm. more from girls. I suffered more on the girls' side, but you see, that's even where you spend more time. Yeah, that's crazy. Because that's, that's w- supposed to be your team now, that's for sure. That's supposed to be your team, and that's where you spend more time. And when it's not going well, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, at least I I mean I just you know, that Instagram post had like quite a lot of context and just at times people don't understand that those little things that happen to you when especially even in your teens will affect even like when you grow into an adult. Yes. yes. Uh, in uni 
work environment. So I can only imagine like if you don't, like you said you forgive everyone who did. Yeah. On the caption you still said I forgive everyone who treated me yeah. badly. Yeah, I did forgive them mm -hmm. because like I said, I started looking at it in a sense like they're kids and I don't actually want to blame them a hundred percent. I want to blame the person who told them that these differences exist in the first place. I want to blame the person who told them do not associate with ABC because a child does not wake up in the morning and decide to hate somebody. It comes from somewhere. So I didn't want to blame them entirely mm -hmm. because I remember there's one girl who told, who told the other, I know I am wrong, but you can't blame me. This is how I have grown up. Jeez. Yeah, this is all I know. This is all I know. So if I grow up from environments that tell me, do not talk to somebody, do not borrow clothes from somebody, do not associate with somebody, do not share your pencil and pen with somebody, how am I supposed to act differently? Yeah. So I don't blame them entirely, but I still feel like they had a choice to make. Yeah. They had a choice to make. Because like the girl who said, I know I'm wrong, had a choice to make. Because she knows. She, she knows. clearly knows what she she's doing. She clearly knows that she's wrong. So yeah. she had a choice to make and say, she okay, chose. I'm wrong. And if where I come from, they're telling me this, I think I should take a different path. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many times do we take different paths from what our parents want us to do? Almost all the time. All the time. All the time. I have never followed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <I> have never. <laughs> exactly. Because we don't have the same beliefs with them. Yeah. In yeah. Most scenarios so I still feel like they had a choice to make but I forgive them because that's all they knew that's what they were taught but I'm sure they're not like that today yeah I'm, but let's I'm, say I'm sure they've, they've seen better hopefully I'm sure because I know them I know oh, them yeah, and okay. they don't still make me feel like that around them mm. so I, f I hope they treat everybody like that out there not because maybe they discovered I'm X or B <laughs> you know yeah yeah so what yeah. about like just you know in case anyone who's maybe younger and going through the same yeah. and listening to the podcast like how would you tell them to maneuver around that especially knowing that i don't think it's something that can be cured just with a snap of a finger yes and yes. if it was like that common with like a lot of people mm. how is a young girl or a young boy who's currently in that situation what advice would you give them to just I think uh, I think I would first address someone who's doing it. Yeah. Like if somebody is out there and is treating someone differently because of it it could it could either be even because of body shape, you know? Body shape how? It makes no sense to me. It could either be, uh, body shape because there's some people who um, discriminate people because of how fat you are or how like you know uh, but there's, just there's give me a description a fat is like fairly big or like if you have are we because like in kenya like you know kenya uganda you've, people you've, do have like big bums is that what you're saying um I, I listen trust me i do not know what you're talking i'm just asking but you've heard of body shaming and all that stuff or like when you're too big and maybe some people will not associate with you you, because you know why i'm saying that because yeah. mm. for for guys we don't really pay for guys we just know get your money and it doesn't matter what shape you are you're going to but right. now yeah i'm just saying yeah but will anyway. it be discriminated if you're fat and you have money mm, you see you see where i'm going with this <laughs> yeah you see so well, it, it's it's a valid thing that i'm trying to say so yeah. for guys but yeah. now for ladies i understand it's now more sensitive yeah it's sensitive so many things are sensitive our bodies were sensitive yeah. about how we look we're sensitive about so many things so I, I think for someone out there who's treating somebody else differently because of how they look where they come from um their tribe abc whatever reason you have to treat somebody differently mm -hmm. i think it's high time you realize that a person is more than that mm -hmm. there's more to a person than their shape their height, their body. I've spoken of height again. Yeah. <laughs> Don't use yeah. it against me. I want to use it again, <laughs> Steve. But hey, listen. <laughs> let's just accept. I've told you, there's a time I really did want to feel like I'm an NBA player. Yeah. And I didn't even know when 
people were describing like them as you know six foot what I didn't know what that height ideally was <laughs> until my mom showed me like how tall that is against the door and I was just like okay I mean listen I have to accept because that's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen anytime soon yeah yeah and so, ever since because even for me here's the thing mm. uh, in, I've always been skinny super skinny even now like have a little bit of mass mm. but I've always been the skinny guy skinny guy mm. and I used to be called that a lot yeah until I started using the word fat like you know you can't call people fat. I'm like but I'm always being called skinny yeah yeah but I didn't know that it actually hurts people's feelings yeah but thank God for me I wasn't feeling anything yeah so that for me I mean I accepted how I am, I am and yeah. you know so but back to you what were you saying yeah before I, was, I, cut you off? I was saying that whoever is treating somebody else they just have to realize that a person is more than than how they look like i think it's it's high time we start looking for the other thing that is within somebody mm -hmm. i mean how can you how can we work together to grow mm. how can i get a, a proper conversation from you mm -hmm. can i can i talk to you when i'm going through something can i seek you can advice do that from with you? me anytime you want <laughs> can i can i seek advice from you mm. can can we have fun together can we live together not that oh i, I can't be seen with you yeah. Oh, I can't walk with you. Oh, you look like that. I think it's high Let time to realize you that. Yeah. What's your best physical attribute? Hey. What do you love most about yourself? You have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> do we have to? Yes. I'm asking so that like people just contextualize because mm. we're talking about all these yeah. things. Yeah. So now we have to understand like even for you what what's yeah. the best thing you like about I yourself? I love my face. Yeah. Uh, entirely. I have very nice eyes. Thank you. I was about to speak <laughs> about that. I love my eyes so yeah. much. Uh -huh. um, I love my smile. I, I love my face yeah. in general. Yeah. And I don't think there's anything wrong with my face. And mm -hmm. I don't think I can change anything. Yeah. Beginning with the scar. Yeah, let me ask. I was, uh, I was That was going to come. I'll ask you. Oh. But it's like an... Um, how would you call it? It's almost like a birthmark, I would say. Oh. Well, yeah. my scar is literally me. Like, my mom has suggested a few times yeah. you want it off. No. And I'm like, no, mom, no. this is me. I don't even know how I look without it. Oh, wait, like, what, what, how well, what did you get? It was an accident. We were coming from Uganda and my uncle was driving. And then, yeah, he knocked something and then the glass. So, Were you yeah. seated in front? I was seated behind, but I was stubborn. You did not have your seat belt on? No. Ah, oh, <laughs> Lord, you see, I'm always arguing about this thing and I was talking to my friend yeah. the other day because yeah. like every time, because I don't have a car, right? Yeah. But I do have like a lot of friends, mm. I'm, but I'm getting a car soon, eh? let's speak you it to existence, right? Yes. <laughs> so yes. we're always talking about like every time, like even in an Uber, if we just go in with a friend who's like a, a lady, I would put on my seatbelt, mm. they would not. Mm. It's so common that I'm like, yo, and it's not comfortable. It will spoil my outfit. I'm like, this is not supposed to be, first of all, for comfort. Yes. It's to protect your life. Yes. Yeah, I know. But you do put your seatbelt on from that day, right? Yeah. yeah. You don't? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'll, I'll just let you finish the story first of I all before I start like, you know. So, yeah, I didn't have the belt on. And yeah. at the same time, I was not seated properly. I was in the window. I was oh. outside like this. So at when the time. At the time when the car hit something. So yeah. when it hit and fell off, the glass that broke, I like the window yeah. glass, yeah. I hit my head into the, the mm. broken window. Mm. So it was stuck in there. Yeah, so yeah, we went to the hospital, but I'm okay now. Yeah, I'm okay a, now. But this scar. car has been with me for a while that I feel like it's part of me. It's part of you, it's right? It's part of me, so I can't even... But do people ask or... Do yeah, people ask? Yeah, people ask. Yeah, well, people are ask. you tired of answering that question? No. No? Uh, I'm not tired because yeah, or you I don't know. You're always I'm open to just sharing. Yeah, I'm open to sharing because I, I feel like some things are, are worth sharing over and over so that it reminds you of... You have a purpose in no, life. No, no, no. Who you are. Sharing them over and over so that they remind you. Of who you are. And. And what? <laughs> and to always do what? And to always do what? Put what? on a seatbelt? No. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, it's not even coming, like, anywhere <laughs> close. You're not even. 
that's that's the least of your concern. <laughs> oh, no, man. but that's an interesting story because that uh, that's like even just it you do have like a very pretty face. Yeah, thank and you. And that's like a nice sig- it's a signature look of part of who you are like you've said. Yeah. And I can tell that you've actually embraced it like even like just in your pictures and stuff. Yeah. And even for me I know like I can't picture you without it because it's like it's part of you. Yeah, it's it's yeah. really part of me, and mm-hmm. it, it reminds you that you have a purpose. Yeah, if you survive true. that, there's something you're meant to fulfill. Yeah, yeah. There's something you're supposed to add to this community. So live, mm. you know, live regardless of what happens. Live. So yeah, like I was saying, for whoever is out there treating somebody, yeah. look for something positive about that person. Mm-hmm. Don't look for what they look like. And for someone going through it. I think the most important thing, if you can, before you figure out how to love yourself, find a warm environment. Mm -hmm. Because at the moment, I think what I didn't know was that I would actually find some other people who didn't care. You know, who didn't care where I come from or what I am. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what I lacked. I lacked that support system of people around me that don't care, so that at least I live in an environment where we don't care how we look like. So that's why I really wanted to give credit to Sherissa because she came through in the right time. She's Rwandese as well? She's Burundian. Mm. She's Burundian. But we and where is she now? She's in Canada. Okay. Yeah, so we go through the same things, Burundi and Rwanda. It's just, it's just oh yeah, almost kind of like kind similar. Of the same, yeah. right? So she stood with me and she said, look, love them. And can you imagine if she never did that? I don't know where I would be. That's why I really That's wanted it. to give credit to her because honestly, sometimes people love giving credit to their power in themselves more than they want to appreciate the people that actually help them. That one make person, a step. that one person made you a difference com- in my life. Yes. Completely different, even where you are right yeah, now. Yeah, and I'm very sure that after her, that's when actually I got more people around me who realized. You know, I mean, this is yeah, not that we important shouldn't pay after attention. all, yeah, yeah. you know. And, and there were some people around me who were still silent and they didn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. You know that these people actually who don't want to do wrong, but they still don't know they what to do. They just don't want to get involved. They don't want to get involved. Yeah. And I really appreciate them as well because they didn't disappear completely. Yeah. But the words Sherissa told me are the words that kept me going. And eventually... Some of my friends actually joined the high school later, that we were together in another high school before, and everything was good, you know. So for someone going through it, I think the first step you can do, if you can, Mm -hmm. is look for a group, a support system, a person that thinks differently, and surround yourself with the positivity. Yeah. That person that will tell you otherwise. Why are you telling yourself I'm not worthy? That person is telling you, shut up. Yeah. yeah. You know, shut up. That's nonsense. You know, you are worthy. Mm. So that's the first thing to do. Second is to actually believe that identity does not make you who you are. These are like society standards, you know, because they change all the time. I mean, if society standards don't have a standard themselves, Mm. (laughs) they change all the time. You're not going to belong anywhere. Today, the society standard would be like, pretty girls are the dark girls from Sudan. And then, would you want to be dark? Darker than you already are? And then tomorrow, they'll be like, no, the beauty standard has changed. We want people who look like this. Like the other day, Rihanna had a model who had a scar, and all of a sudden, every agency was calling for a model that has a scar. And what did they do to them before? They were not accepting them. Mm -hmm. So these... Society standards do not have a stand, if I can say that. But Rwandese women, though. What does that mean? (laughs) (laughs) Rwandese women are hot. Well, you guys heard. (laughs) We are hot. (laughs) Yes. I'm just saying. If you know, you know. I'm just saying. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. these standards change. You can't Mm. let that get to your mind and Mm. say, oh, I'm... So now I am on top because I look like what is on top today. Because that might change tomorrow. And if that's what was determining who you are in life, it will be you are doomed. Yeah, you're doomed. So I think for you going through it, if you're going through identity issues or something like that, Mm -hmm. you I think you need to tell yourself daily that I'm more than identity. I'm more than what society think I am. You know? And look for I think sometimes what we do helps. 
Like what? Like, for example, if you go out there and um, help somebody, mm -hmm. I think people do not understand that sometimes helping is not only for the person you're helping, but it's also for you. For you. It's also I for I do it you. for myself. Yeah. And even if that person yeah. treated me badly, otherwise I'm like, I played my part. And yeah. I'm not even focused. Most of the times when you help somebody, when you sit down to wonder who you are, you remember you are a good person. Hmm? You remember that you're somebody that helped somebody yeah. smile. You helped somebody wake up the next day when they were giving up. Mm. And that will give you a purpose. True. That will help you move. So I think from finding a support system, from doing something in your community that gives you more meaning, mm -hmm. before you know it, you'll have established who you are and it won't matter what they call you. True. Yeah, it won't matter. But above all, I believe in talking to God. You know, you, you pray. Are you a religious person? Religious. I'm a Christian. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm a Christian. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying, Christian. like, you know, do you pray, like, you know, at least yeah, on I a pray, regular? I pray, yes, I pray. I'm yeah. a Christian. Mm -hmm. And I believe God helps. Somehow, I believe He does without you actually doing so much. If you pray and just be like, God, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm tired. I don't want to be called this. I don't want to be this. I don't want to be that. Mm -hmm. Help me. Before you know it, you'll have the peace within you regardless of how the, how ugly the situation is. And when you get that peace, then now that's where you start working from mm. in that space. Now you're like, since I have the peace of mind now, I can now start building now my joy, my Slow. happiness. Slowly. Slowly. Step by step. Do not rush it. Mm -hmm. Do not rush it. You can't jump one day and you're okay. I, I agree. Yes. I agree. It's step by step. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a process, but it works and it happens. Okay, yeah. now. Yeah. I know we've taken a good portion to talk about the really important and sensitive issue, right? Yeah, yeah. But you know, we also have to jump into the fun stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, you want to sip some tea? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, mm -hmm. but that's a good message just for people. And it's also good for people to be open about such things. Because even for you to share your story, it will inspire somebody else. Yeah, yeah. It inspired me to call you in the podcast. Yeah. Uh, somebody is going to watch it. Who's yeah. in a similar kind of situation, yeah. they reach out to somebody else. Yeah. Share their story and yeah. maybe reach out to you. Yeah, and I would encourage people to reach out, actually. Mm -hmm. They can reach out, we can talk. Maybe yeah. there's more of the things that I can't put out there. Yeah. But, but I on a one-on-one, on on one. One on one I can share, mm -hmm. we can talk. And yeah, actually the people should open up about these things. And why don't you uh, put that out, put that energy out on like uh, your Instagram? Like, you know, I've never even seen a video of you talking, first of all, live alone. This is a video. <laughs> it's the first, this is the first. There's a first time for everything. Oh Lord, <laughs> yeah. But just hopefully, yeah. this also just inspires you to try and do a little bit more. Yeah. Outreach, because yeah. you'd be surprised with the people that you can reach out to. Yeah, I, I would that actually have like to help. Mm. Yes, I would love to help. I would love to help because I know how it feels like. Mm -hmm. I know how it feels. I know how it hurts. So I would really love to come through for someone, because it, it's so sad for someone to go through what I went through for more than a year, two years. That's not something you want to go through. Yeah. Where you wake up in the morning and you know <laughs> what's waiting yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a good feeling. It's mm -hmm. not a good feeling. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to the fun segment. But we can't talk about law school now because, you know, law school has so many formalities. And, you yeah. know, yeah. the questions I might ask might make you be disqualified to go to Kenya School of Law. So we won't <laughs> even touch on them. That <laughs> we'll just say for another segment. Yes. Because I'll call you for that because I have, like, I think two or three more like law students yeah i think i've had two on the podcast and yeah. i'd love to bring all of you together and then we have a chat about right. that okay. so i'll make that happen all right. but in the meantime let's move to like our love segment that's that's no you can't escape that yeah that's yeah. just like one of those things that you know even in life yeah no matter who you are <laughs> at some point you will love somebody yeah. care about someone or maybe yeah. you've gone through like a dating situation yeah um what's your situation like right now right now are I'm you in love with your books or in love with a beautiful handsome man or a lady perhaps <laughs> hey listen 
Listen. I have to, to contain my reactions. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm single. Guys, before she continues, you had single, slide <laughs> DM, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm uh -huh. single. Uh -huh. um, why? Been, what do you mean, why? Why beautiful, intelligent, well-spoken women single? Maybe they don't know that. Really? <laughs> really? Well, how else are we can going I to go with that? How else can I answer that question? Okay, why are you? Uh, uh, Is it uh, just because you're... Taking time off, or it's not like I am taking time off, but uh huh. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I had to take a shot. I don't know what this is, Isaac Mumiaka. Oh, wait, or maybe he had single and he was giving you his card, and here I am grabbing the card. No, the card is for you. <laughs> 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 the cat is for you, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, uh, I'm single because I think it's, I don't know, I really don't have a reason. Really? Yeah. Have guys hit on you? Yeah, but it could Or they don't match up they, to they you. It's not, it's, it's not they're, on, they're not your type? Uh, Are they not tall enough for <laughs> you? <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> uh, I did not say that. Ah. I did not say that. Oh wait, you, you oh, are they, oh, are they, oh, are they? Are they those guys too short? You know, they're those girls who say like, I can't date a short guy. Well, I'm already short. I mean, what are we gonna do? So, so we're both short, but oh that's not Lord. the case. That's not the case. So you can't date a short guy. <laughs> well, I think I can. No, it's okay. It's okay. You can actually know, cause here is the thing. <laughs> we are entitled to things that will make us happy, and you've already said. So what am I supposed to do with I a short guy? I need more tea. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> okay, let's go back to okay. Why, why, why do you think you're single? You just you're still looking. I think. Or you let it happen when it happens. I yeah, I let it happen when it happens. But I think I don't want to go through the dating for just the dating. Mm. And I think it gets exhausting if you're just jumping from this to that to that if it doesn't have a purpose really, mm. like an end goal. So I think I'm ready to date if the person is guys serious. <laughs> I mean, oh, okay. if, if the person is serious and we, we are moving from a step to another step. How's a serious person? I, I can know. I can tell. I can tell. I mean, you know, before you date somebody, there's been a series of talking and a series mm. of, day of of going out there and mm. learning the person. Mm -hmm. So I think once I figure out that you're the one I want, then I think I'll settle down. But for now, I haven't seen anybody. And okay. Yeah, okay. and I don't think I have the pressure. So I'm, yeah. Wh okay, cool. what kind of, ideally, if you're to date a guy, what kind of guy what qualities do you look for in a guy let's start with that uh the first quality i look for is someone who's aware of other people uh i really would get so can i say turned off by somebody who is so full of themselves and cannot see around them mm -hmm. i mean there's people usually caught that and put it in one word kindness but everybody can be kind depending with who they're being kind to. Yeah. You know, anyone is capable of being kind. But there is what I call being selfless. You actually are aware of your environment. I mm -hmm. mean, if you're in a bus and there's an old man stand up, you know, let the old man sit. If you can help somebody on the street carrying something, help them. I want to see that in my man. Mm -hmm. I want to see a man who is not proud when it comes to stooping solo to do something. Um, God-fearing, because I feel like regardless of our different characters and how different we are, we all have terrible things about us. Mm. Like We're all capable of doing things that yeah. you can't imagine. But if you're God-fearing, I feel like that tames you a bit. It gives you the discipline that you can have. A bit have. of guidance. A eh? bit of Direction. guidance. Yeah. When you mess up, at least you're, you're somebody who can come back. You know, but somebody who doesn't even fear God, who else can they fear? The devil. <laughs> I doubt. <laughs> I doubt. <laughs> the devil is a friend. It's a I good doubt. friend. <laughs> that it's very possible for them to just throw around anything true, and true. not be able to recognize what they've done. Mm -hmm. So I think 
I want that kind of discipline. And yeah, I want to be loved, you know? Somebody really loving, you know, romantic. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Since you mentioned that as well, <laughs> don't ask like me. Like, what's don't what's 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 an ideal date for you? If somebody is like taking you out on a date, uh, what 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 are some of the little things that somebody, maybe a guy who's trying to ask you out or is already going out with you, well, do? I, I don't mind old-fashioned. I mean, still like open what? the door, still mm-hmm. pull the seats. Somebody, mm-hmm. you know, a bit of flowers. Some old. Mm. Are you looking for the flowers? A <laughs> guy. They are my friends. They all like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a bit of a bit of flowers. A bit of, yeah, the the old kind of fashion thing. Not where these days people assume that. As long as you know my feelings for you, we're good. Mm. No, I want you to remind me. I want you to remind me on a daily basis that why you feel for me. Like, I think that's what old fashion is. Like they used to. You don't the Instagram it. love? No. Uh, what's the point of the Instagram love if I don't feel it? Mm. I want to feel it. I want to see it. True. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, that kind of romance that I think people don't care anymore yeah, about. It's that unfortunate, much. man. It's very unfortunate. Because I think I've heard a few guys say, mm, you really want me to send flowers? You're waiting for me but to But you know open the, the craziest door. thing is, like, you know, you'd find people like, I think people, there are people who the only dating people know is drinking. Yeah, it's, it's drinking, it's going to bed, it's, it's all they, yeah. it's all they like know. Like even dining just to go somewhere and eat. Or and just I, like and I picnics. Like that's, or yeah. like people don't know that. And I'll, I'll be honest, like I've tried taking some savages <laughs> somewhere to just go and have something but they don't know yeah. they don't know yeah. and it's like the only idea mm. of dating to them it's like drinks 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 yeah. drinks drinks yeah and it's like but that's a kenyan hobby i think no, it's, people it's, really it's love drinking in this country to a point where if you try something different like the, all those things that you're talking about mm. somebody might, might not appreciate I know of a guy who sent someone flowers mm. and the chick complained because she said she sniffed the flowers and there was like a, like a small insect. But <laughs> ideally flowers will I have those things. the effort. No, not even the effort. It's flowers. Yeah. They might have a little yeah. something inside. Yeah. I mean, they were grown outside, outdoors, where there's nature. <laughs> <sighs> Well, but I think with with the way things are changing, yeah. um, with the way things are changing, some things lose meaning. Mm. But I feel like that's even why the relationships do not last, because of the foundation yeah. on which they were built. So at least if there's that romance mm. where the the spice is there, that everything it's gonna is last. sweet, I it's think gonna it will last because those small small things and the memories you always look back to them and be like, no, let me hold on to this. And even you know? somebody's giving you flowers today, they'll give you flowers maybe for an anniversary when you're old, maybe someone yeah, in hospital yeah, they can yeah. sell. And it will always trigger memories memory. from. Exactly. And and if they give yeah. you the same flowers they gave you a year ago, you'll Imagine. be like, oh yeah, yeah, these are the first flowers I received. So those are small, small things that when you look at them, you're like, flowers. But then yeah. they, they get somewhere and they mean something. They do. So, yeah, they do. so yeah. Yeah, so I look up to romance, romantic relationships. Guys, mm-hmm. <laughs> here, here there are tips. There are so many different tips. But what do you think in just in general of the dating scene right now, the online community? Oh, it's crazy. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Everyone is looking for something different, not love, really. Yeah. Yeah. That's Everyone true, is right? looking for something else. And some people are staying because of something else. They're mm-hmm. not staying because they love the person. It's crazy out there. I don't know. It's, that's why some you hear some people saying, "Do you actually believe in love?" Yeah. They have even started doubting that because, and you can't blame them. It's because it's it's. If you think about it, it's not there. It's not there anymore. It's a certain reason that you're talking to a certain guy, and it's a certain reason that you're staying with him. Maybe he treats you better than the previous guy. Maybe he takes you out more than the previous guy. Maybe he's been sending in gifts than the previous guy. And when you think about it, are you staying because you love him or because he's better than the other coming, guy yeah. in terms of? how he treats you, you know? Mm-hmm. So sometimes you find us girls, I myself included, being 
may be fooled because of um, the treatment. It's better. It's a good one. You know, mm -hmm. it's a good one. And that tends to tell you he likes me enough, otherwise he wouldn't be doing this, you know? Then once that is established, then you're stuck. Yeah. But when something goes off, kaboom. When, when was the last time you're in a relationship? Wow. Is it that long ago or was it last week? <laughs> I mean, now I don't know what the answer is. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying is it a long to, time I'm ago? I'm trying to remember uh, exactly when was the last time. But I think it was... Wow. Last year, I guess, or something. Mm. Yeah. And what, what made it not work? Uh, you, che you cheated? No, I don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cheat. I don't uh -huh. cheat. Oh God. <laughs> hey, we are talking on the podcast. These are the people that these are the things that people connect to. So now guys will be like, Oh, how comes you didn't ask about any Yeah. I have to, I'm just asking. Mm hmm Oh now the now the fruits are interesting, eh? <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. I just want to know because you know Mm. different people like you've said different people look for different things in relationships and might be with someone thinking that they like you because of this yeah. like you because of something else yeah and it just ends up not mm, oh, working out the last person i did was a great guy honestly mm. i still think he is a great guy mm -hmm. politically just, correct no it's not political honestly i'm telling the truth mm. i think he's mm. he still is a great guy mm -hmm. but it's not enough. Mm. He's a great guy, but it's not, he wasn't enough. Don't wait. Can I finish? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's not enough. There's more to being a nice person when it comes to relationships. So relationships are work. You believe that? They're work, and I think it needs more than just my personality as a person. Mm -hmm. It needs more than that. I need to work for it. I need to put some effort. I need to do some things to maintain it. So the grounds on which we broke up were are a bit personal. I'm not going to share them. Mm -hmm. But it couldn't work. We were heading different ways. Um, I believe in what way? In, in, um, when it comes to... <sighs> Hey, let's talk about it. Let's talk when about it. When it comes it. to life, when it comes to principles, when it comes to what we believe in, mm -hmm. when it comes to how we do things, we were different and we collided a lot when it came to executing some things, some decisions and, you know, his whole of a different person. And I feel like if he can get a girl who's in the same field, Good. Like that meaning you you were doing law and him he was doing something different. Uh, well, careers careers cannot be really such a big deal, mm -hmm. but yeah, um, sometimes sometimes they can be a big deal. Uh, for example, um, I don't think I can date an artist like a musician who goes on tours and all that stuff. I don't think I can date such a person. Why? Not because. Um, I'm using their career against them, mm -hmm. but because I don't think I can stand everything that comes with somebody being an artist. The fans. The, the, the <laughs> it's too much fun, man. It's too, <laughs> it's too much. I really want some breaks <laughs> sometimes in yeah. between. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that. So I think you get where I'm coming from. Yeah. Our paths were really different, and our principles in life. You know, sometimes it's not so a So you didn't do anything wrong? Not really. We just what? agreed. It was a mutual agreement. We no just realized, way. like, we just realized, look, we're just going to fight over and over again over small things like this. Mm. And what's the life of us if I don't really like what you're doing and uh, you don't like what I'm doing and all the time we collide? Like, there's no point. Wait, were you dating a rapper? No. <laughs> Did he at least have good music? <laughs> I did didn't say least, he was wrong. Did he at least have good music? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I have admitted. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, that's that's fair enough. Yeah. I mean, so, uh -huh. yeah, so we believed in different things, and I, we just realized, look, it's just not. Gonna this happen. is not working out. So, and and then we will be lying to ourselves if we just want to do this for the sake of just doing it, and we don't see a future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. It's interesting. The dating scene. I mean, online platforms. Even just looking. Have you tried online dating? No. Would you ever try it? Am I just old-fashioned the way you've said? I'd rather stick to. I don't think I would want to try it. Cause like right now, you yes, you are single, right? Yeah. But where do you think it's the best place to actually mm. meet someone if you are to go and meet actually, someone? Actually, I don't think there's a specific really? best place to meet someone. You'll hear some people say in church. You hear some other people say blah blah work, all that stuff. But I don't think there's a specific place to meet the right person. The right person can be anywhere. Mm -hmm. The right person can be in the club, the right person can be anywhere. It, it doesn't really matter because I think all manners and all kinds of people are everywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, our churches have some snakes in them. Our churches oh, our have pastors are there. Oh, our pastors, first yeah, of all. Yeah, so you can't specify that I will meet the right person here. Yeah. Uh, the right person can come from anywhere. You just have to be open minded and just be ready to get to know the person and ignore where you met them mm -hmm. okay what's yeah, so i don't really judge people who met them online because i actually have a friend who has a, a a nice relationship and i think it's been a year or two and they met online so i don't i don't mind it but is it long it. distance or no they're together they're, oh, they're the same place ah, yeah okay. so um, but they met online yeah and i think they're perfect they're perfect they're doing well it's good it's great so I think it doesn't matter where you meet the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you can meet them anywhere. What's mm -hmm. an absolute no for you in a guy? Mm. Like this, I can't, because I, I asked you earlier, like, you know, the yeah. things you look for in yeah. a guy. Yeah. What's well, an absolute no? A no no is a violent person. Mm -hmm. If you actually attempt. <laughs> Or by word of mouth. Yeah. I will beat you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's a wrap. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. You know? So, a violent person, and it doesn't have to be me. It has to be anyone in their life. On this, anyone. As long as I can see that there is a... Uh, of violence in you, I am not sure if it's not going to be me tomorrow. Yeah. So, uh, that's a no for me. Um, I think also an arrogant person, uh, somebody who doesn't have respect for other people. I don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. I don't care how big and how much money you have. But if you're not able to have respect for somebody, tomorrow if I'm your wife, of course, I won't it's have a say. Yeah. I won't have a say in anything. Because mm -hmm. I think the mistake we do is that we look at how we are treated mm -hmm. more. And I feel like if I want to put you into a certain box, I can treat you anyhow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. But how I treat everybody else around me is me. That's who I am now. So for me, I look at your relationship with everybody else, strangers, your friends, and other family, people. Family, perhaps. Family, of mm -hmm. course. And then from there, I'll know, oh, this is... This I can actually... This I c But a few mistakes I think I can handle, a, a few things I can handle because I'm like, this can be worked on, you know. This can How be worked about on. Uh, finances? That I'm always asking because, you know. Finances is this tricky. Yeah, I have to ask. <laughs> I have to ask. I it's very tricky. We all want a good life. Yeah. Uh, but I think it all depends on have you found love? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because at the moment, I might. So you'd, say li you'd love a broke guy who. A broke a guy who loves you? A broke guy with a vision. Or with a vision. With a vision. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. There's yeah. a difference of a broke guy because he's lazy. Yeah. And he's just going to be broke forever. Mm -hmm. And then there's a broke guy because luck is just not on his side. Yeah. I mean, I, I can see it with my own eyes that this guy is hustling. He's hard working. Yeah, like he sure. can't sleep. I want to see that. Yeah. I just don't want to be there telling you, oh, baby, it's going to be okay, and we're just seated there. Yeah. I actually want to see you work your ass off. Mm. So I think I can date a broke guy with a vision. Someone actually pushing the hardest of their 
their life to get yeah. something because mm -hmm. now I'll be like okay it's just not working out yet but it will work but out. I can see where this is going yeah I can, can see, see where this is going and if I'm working and that person is bringing a little bit something can work out but I, I actually I'm a woman like let's not deny that yeah. I'm a woman I'm yeah. a lady I want to be treated and I want a good life like Ooh. that's that's the fact, <laughs> that's the fact. so yeah, I yeah. want one to be the man in the house you understand yeah, I want yeah. to be a partner that I can provide I can help mm -hmm. but I don't want to be the man of the house I mean that's the reason you're a man God made you a man for a reason be the man of the house like you hear that? <laughs> that those independent women who talk about, you know, be the man uh, in the house. I'm the man as well. Mm -mm. No, I, I'm oh, yeah, not. I'm what, what, what kind of girlfriend are you? I'm a jealous one. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Okay, that's one noted, very jealous. Yeah. So he can't be having like, you know, a lot of female friends. He can have a lot of female friends. Texting him. I hadn't finished <laughs> texting him at night. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. It should be boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jealous? Yeah. What else? Um, I feel like I'm letting out a lot of information. That's why the podcast is here. And we have time. I keep looking. At, I mean, like, we, we finish in the next 10 minutes. What, so else, what else are they going to find out if they come? They've literally no, had everything. No, of course they won't know everything. <laughs> but, but what else would you say, like, you know, are just, like, for you, the qualities that you bring, that you think are, um, are outstanding? For me, yeah. I think I'm... Um, Apart um, from sex, nothing sexual. That's what women always use, like, oh, but you... Mm -mm. I, I'm not going to say anything about that either. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. um... I th I'm, I'm sensitive, so I want you to pay attention to my emotions. Mm -hmm. How they're shifting from yeah. A to C in one minute. Pay attention. <laughs> okay. okay. Pay attention. I mean, it happens. Yeah. So I, I want you to be aware of what you're saying, what you're doing, how it's going to affect me. So be aware of me. <laughs> yeah. That's it might be triggered by something. Yeah. Uh, triggered by something in terms of... Like the way you say it, the way somebody might say something and then yeah, from yeah, one yeah, minute yeah. you... Yeah, so sometimes it doesn't even have to be triggered by something. Sometimes it can just be women, hormones and balances and all those things. One time, one moment you're happy, the other minute you're not happy. So he yeah. has to be aware of such moments. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Don't we all know about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you it's know? like, are you upset? No. <laughs> you look at the person, you're like... <laughs> Are you sure everything is okay? Yes. <laughs> okay, hey, okay. Yeah, so mm. I, I think a guy who's aware of such is, is, is a good partner because now you won't be like, oh, he didn't do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, he didn't say this. You yeah. understand. So I think, yeah. But just in the 21st century, do you think um, a lot of women also bring a lot to the table with the same way, the same way they have a list of their demands? That they bring that uh, they want from the guy uh yeah in terms of financial not necessarily financial like for okay it's very few guys who are out there looking for finance from a woman yeah i think it's not a big percentage yes they're there but it's not like a big yeah. percentage yeah. but just like because now like even like that's why yeah like there's so many guys in debt first of all yeah <laughs> yeah because yeah. they're out there trying Thank their you. best to actually yeah. provide and yeah. treat their their other, their better half, or yeah. like yeah. girlfriend, or whoever it is, yeah. to the expectations that have been put there by society. Yeah. With all this Instagram lifestyle, you know, everybody wants to pop champagne every other weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's it's getting exhausting, to be honest, for the guys <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. because now they have to to show their girlfriend that the way a girlfriend ex on Instagram was treated, that's how my girl can be treated. Mm. But I think I think it it has to be a decision made by two, and I think girls we need to wake up and maybe find our own happiness. I mean, everyone's happiness shouldn't be my happiness, honestly. Yeah. But yeah. I can't lie; it kind of affects you without knowing. Mm -hmm. Without knowing, you see the kind of life a certain girl is living, yeah. and then you're like, oh, I kind of want that. Yeah. You know, and it happens without you knowing, and then eventually, it's it actually wasn't your original happiness, but you're happy because you saw it happening and you wanted it, and then somebody did it, and now you're happy. So. Honestly, I talk to girls and I talk to myself. I think it's a problem we have, but 
it's not our fault, you know. <laughs> it's not our fault. <laughs> it's not our fault. It's social media. <laughs> oh. I actually had, like, as of yesterday, they're removing the likes, right? Yeah, Did we yeah, talk yeah. about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think yeah. about that? I think it's a good idea. Mm? I think it's a good idea because it's taking so much of... Oh I think man. we mm. it's taking so much of our time and validation. People are seeking validation yeah. into... Like, if, for example, I post a picture, it has 200 likes, and somebody and I post another one, and it has 100, I would tend to think the one that has 200 is more, and that's where I looked more beautiful. Yeah. And probably I'll rely on that every time I'm taking pictures. So I think it's a good thing mm -hmm. to protect our sanity because... People are going crazy out there trying to look people a certain are way. People are depressed. Yeah, and it hurts people when a photo is not liked or yeah. when somebody else is liked more. I know people who delete, like if it doesn't have these likes, they yeah, delete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see like how they really do feel bad. Yeah, and when I think... Actual, there's somebody next to them who's actually, who loves them. Yeah. But they're more attention, they're seeking attention and validation from yeah. these people who don't even... Yeah. No, or like you anyway. Yeah, and it happens unconsciously. You don't know when it's happening. You just find yourself in that space where if a picture is beautiful, then you know you're beautiful. Does it ever get to you? I can't lie. A few times, yes. Yeah? A few times, yeah. Mm. That's why I said unconsciously you find yourself in that space. A few times, yeah, it has happened to me, but it doesn't mean that, of course, my validation came from the people, but I know it can get there. Mm -hmm. I know it's possible. It's not impossible. So a few times, yeah, I've ten, I've, I've had a tendency of believing. Oh, so they like this more. Have and you been and maybe of course for me, like I liked another one. You understand? Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold mm -hmm. on. Or, or am I? Is it the wrong person? What? Do you post bikini pictures? I'm just asking. No. I'm not going through your profile. <laughs> this is something completely different. I want to go to my notes. No. You don't? No. You don't, right? No. Okay, so, mm. um, at what point mm. have you ever felt like even depressed mm. or stressed out because of comparing yourself to somebody else's Instagram? Uh, depressed, no. Straight out, stress, stressed out, no. But You're sure it's not you who I saw with? I have a very good memory. With? I do not forget anything that I've seen on Instagram. With? Or are you next to a pool? Oh yeah, I have actually a swimsuit, I think, on oh. my Insta story, oh, okay. whatever. Nonsense, but we'll come back to that. <laughs> just finish what you're saying. <laughs> you see, I cannot forget. I, I just did not forget. I mean, oh why do you God. want to make me feel anyway, crazy? stressed yeah. out, no, yeah. depressed, no. But I think there are a few times where I would look at a picture and I'd be like, Ooh, man, mm. why don't I look like that, you know? Mm. Yeah, of course, such moments happen. I, I think for every girl, yeah. that should happen. Mm -hmm. That you look at a certain body and you're like, oof, I want that. If I had that body. If I had that body, you guys would not sleep, <laughs> you know? It happens, but I think the most important thing is not letting it go far. Because mm. admiring is okay. Yeah. Wishing to be something, to have something is okay. But letting it go far is not, it's, it's, that's what is not okay. Because some things are possible. You can go to the gym and get the body you want. Yeah. Yeah. But now if it's too much, you might not even go to the gym to get that body. You might start using products. You might yeah. start taking pills. Skin and all lightening, all, skin, all those things, right? All those right? things that mm. will end up messing you up. So I think it's important not to let it go far in your head. Mm -hmm. And just be admire and move on admire and move on i think that's the importance of now loving yourself and accepting yourself because if you love yourself enough it won't get to you it i mean i don't even know how people will deal without with no with, without seeing the likes there are people who that people that's their lives crazy. yeah that's yeah. their lives but yeah. like even like how the instagram ceo was saying like it's they want people to have like now better connection and just focus people to focus on creativity and connection and that's what social media initially was supposed to be and like for them they're in control of that they know like so many suicide rates have gone up depression and for no reason at all because you find small kids who are not even supposed to be paying attention to likes constantly trying to get those yeah. likes constantly yeah. constant and not paying attention to the things that matter to them around around them yeah, yeah. that's why i was saying these are society standards 
and they mess us up. Yeah. They really mess us up. They, like, like that's where a criminal is born from. Yeah. <laughs> that's where all these problems <laughs> come from. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, somebody, you'll find somebody killing someone else. Like I think it's common in those other Western countries, killing someone else because of probably a social media fight. Yeah, yeah. And 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 then we go ahead and lock these people up and forget that we actually created them. We forget that you, um, the society is the reason why yeah. somebody committed a certain yeah. crime. Yeah. And then you just throw them away, and everybody just pays attention to the victim. But hey, you it's created our those fault. monsters. It's our responsibility, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. So yeah. I think I think it's a good thing that they're getting rid of the lights. It will be hard, I think, for the first time. But if people get used to it, I think it will be okay. Okay. So I think we've touched on almost like everything. And I'm just looking at the time. I know I'll call you for that other segment. Okay, we'll save the swimsuit uh, conversation for the next Thank segment. You. So, <laughs> So make sure you listen to this and wait for the next one as well. So we have to save something for next time, right? Thank you. Thank you very <laughs> Look much. Look at you. <laughs> They're like, oh, fuchs, yes, we don't have to go there. I'm relieved. <laughs> so, um, just, I can't thank you enough, first of all, for coming and sharing. I know that's not an easy conversation to even just put out uh, in the open to the public. Thanks for coming and sharing that. Thank you for inviting me. I think Anytime. it's good I get out there and, you know, maybe help someone else. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you, I mean, I can only imagine somebody who's been affected yeah. Directly or indirectly, if they saw that caption, yeah. definitely made them feel some yeah, yeah. type of way. Yeah, and I, I, um, yeah. I'm and so I'm sure grateful to Cortex as well for. Yeah, for shout out to Cortex. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who yeah. are they? I think I saw something. Were there like some representatives or yeah, uh, panel yeah, yeah. people talking and stuff? Yeah, there's this YouTuber, mm -hmm. uh, Wab Wabosh. Wabosh. Oh That's God. the homie, Maxine. Yeah. Wabosha. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry that I can't bring Maxine, out your name. <laughs> Maxine Wabosha. Yes, yeah. Wabosha. She's super yeah. hard working. Yeah, She's she amazing. was part of them. Her episode is dropping in two or three weeks. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Maxine, you've heard that as well. Hmm? As I drop your episode. <laughs> so, is there anything else that you'd like to... Oh, no, one last question that I ask all my viewers. Eh? Yeah. Mm, which one should I go with? Should I spare you or should I ask? Yes, spare me. <laughs> no, it's an easy question. Okay. What's the one thing that you uh, think right now you're in pursuit of or you're chasing that if you got it, it would give your life uh, better meaning, understanding, satisfaction or fulfillment? Well, mm -hmm. that's a good question. Apart from a man. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> That's a good question <laughs> and yeah. I think I'm happy to answer that. Mm. Well, I think I just hinted a bit. I care about criminals a lot. So much, so much. Because I feel like the whole world, human rights activists, programs and everybody is focused on the victims. And I feel like we've totally forgot about criminals and their people. They are mm. human people, mm. they are human beings like us, they need us. And mm -hmm. I feel like we are at... You said, night, wait, night? you said you care about criminals, criminals yeah oh, so i haven't heard it wrong right no okay no i care about criminals we are 90 percent mm. at fault for who they are mm. the society is 90 percent at fault for who they become because every child if you think about it is born innocent loving happy you know amazing everybody is born with love within themselves you don't just wake up and kill mm. There are series of things that create you to become a murderer. There are series of events that happen for you to start thinking like, oh, I can kill, I need to kill this person. Or there's something that happened eventually, and if not dealt with, that's how they go to prison and eventually they, they stand their ground. They stand their ground and be like, I'm who I am, and no nothing is going to change that. But honestly, if that person is helped, they can be a better person. And I don't think there's any other way to go around it yeah. if we want to reduce the rate of crime. Because yeah. if we keep focusing on the, the victims, don't get me wrong, I really want to help the victims as well, <coughs> I feel like. But if I don't help the victims, one person doesn't mean that everybody else is not. Because I feel like the whole world mm. is focused there. And I feel like if we want to change, then we change the criminals we already have. Because yeah. if there's a criminal that is changed, he will be the change we need in others. And I'm sure where he comes from, the, the, the rate will go lower. Mm. So I feel like for me, they need more help. 
they need more help and they need to be cared for and changed and maybe they need to understand how they did what they did. I don't feel like punishment does that. Yeah, it doesn't help. Punishment anymore. doesn't do that because punishment only tortures your body, but it doesn't actually torture your psychology to, to change mm. the, the reason why you became what you became. So I want to have an NGO someday, an organization. For criminals. An institute that deals with that aspect of life. Changing, changing them so that they can changing be the their perception, their right? perception so they can be the change we need. Because the prisons have that rehabilitation element in them, but it does not actually do what it's supposed to do. Mm, mm. It's like the way we've gone about it is that we punish as we, we reform. But if you think about it, everything you were beaten for as a kid, did you stop or you were just scared? Just scared. Yeah, exactly. Some criminals take it to an extreme of like, oh my God, I can't go through this again, so I stop. But it does not mean that they have changed. Yeah. And there's another person who will get immune to the pain and actually decide to go on. And that's why you'll have repeated offenses. Mm. And that's why you'll have cr crimes being conducted in prison. And then over and over Over again. and over, and then you wonder what's the purpose there. Mm. What is prison doing if the criminals are actually coming from prison? So yeah, that's what I want to do. And the day I do that, the day I set that up, I can die. You can say you're good now. I can say I'm good, let me leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, just tell people where they can find you on social media if you want people to find you. Um, <laughs> I think... I mean, for law consultation and, you know... Well, and you know <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> we're talking about law consultation well, I'm sure right you will tag my page i will I so will, they I can will. find my page yeah. there mm -hmm. mainly there and then the rest can be done there and then we can talk oh, okay. way forward proper yes. is there anything else you have going on that you'd want to plug on the podcast or not yet no still not in really. the works still in the works everything else is still in the works Okay. Yeah. So thanks yeah. for coming. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Anytime. Yeah. We'll still do that part two. Yeah. Not about the swimsuit, but the the law, the three All law right. students, and All then right. we can talk about that. All right. I hope the swimsuit disappears in the middle of the Hopefully. I hope I forget. I hope I forget. <laughs> <laughs> so All it's right. another amazing episode. Make sure you tune to our Apple Podcast. Subscribe. Uh, Spotify, subscribe, Castbox, Podbean, uh, where as YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, daily updates and full episodes midweek and at the end of the week. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching the Kiss the Podcast. Bye.